What is up, everyone? It is late. It's almost 1.30. I wanted to watch a wrestling Japanese uh, thing that happened at midnight, but we think we found a way to watch it, but we'll see if that works out. Anyways, that's why I'm up late, but I had a bunch of things I needed to talk about and get off my chest anyway, so might as well knock it out while we're figuring out other things. Big things, um, over here to the side, I don't know how to point at it. We have all the Exelon stuff going on. Um, that's coming up. Prices, I'm going to get my sheets out. We're on such a limited timeline right now because it's literally in, I mean, we'll be meeting up in two, a week from two, to, uh, let's say two days, then we'll be meeting up in a week to crack open some rivals uh, for um, Exelon, uh, Rivals of Exelon. Um, the the pre-release matter of fact I think can I pull this down yeah because uh, my rivals was not showing um before that so this weekend uh, just throw it out there uh, we have the open house open house there's a really cool uh, mirror folk uh, promo that we'll be giving out we're gonna be holding I think you're supposed to pick one day but I'm doing Saturday Sunday until we run out of promos different things you guys can do you could just meet up the standard we could just do standard tournaments and add uh you know prizes somehow if it's credit or what unstable which i got um right over here i got all this uh, picture here um people i think are not really all unstable out quite yet um at least all my regulars aren't it's super fun um it's a good time so people want to come down try it out um it is being postponed as far as production right now I did get it confirmed. Uh, one distributor, I believe, has a little bit left. But other than that, we should be getting a new run in February. I do not know how much that is, but it is what it is. But So that would be going on all weekend. We have Exelon if you guys want to draft that. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm down. We've been having really good weekends. I mean, I'm, I'm actually very happy and excited to meet a ton of new players and stuff like that. It's been really good. Um, Exelon spoilers dropped, so... That means it's time, man. It's time to get this going. We're going to have uh, the pre-release. The following that is the j draft weekend release day thing going on. We'll have a few things going on that day. Um, get everything going. Get everything in line. Look at your other shops. If you're going to hop around to different shops, see how you can make your plans. Big deal, though. Get your spots in uh, with my spots fill up usually as soon as like right now we don't have many filled up at the moment but as soon as like they start hitting they hit and it, it just falls like crazy i do the sweet deal of uh, two kits for uh, 45 dollars because i want you to try hard as you can to play friday and saturday so that is the whole goal behind that um it it, it should go well um i've not had a bad pre-release they've all been super fun we usually get crazy food, pizza, soda, drunk, I feel, because how tired we are, um, all the players trying to play, just having fun. It, it's always a blast, so I recommend everyone at least try to do midnight, um, but get in fast. Um, then after that, we have the following, a few other things, the release date. Uh, the official release will have stuff going on there. There's buy a box promos on the flyer. I'll be sending out tonight I'll pop it up on there after this um, There there's a ton of cool things going on with that um, But let's hope you know, this is one of the last sets I guess I'm being told that we're gonna have two sets mixing so you are gonna have regular X on mixed with rivals um, It should be good. I actually like that. It's kind of sad when we do just three packs, but hey, um, that's the way it's gonna go. Some people may like it better. I just think it's cool to have a little bit of variety and also throw a shout out if you guys want to do any other kind of dress because I usually just keep whatever uh, is like the most current and newest, but I have had some people Again a lot of people coming back showing up Chilling out and giving me other opinions and stuff and it seems like you know Sometimes they may want to go further back and get uh, you know ether or something, you know I don't know about ether, but like Omicat maybe our um and that's fine just let me know just because we keep somewhat of a stock but nothing crazy just because people aren't really digging through those uh packs like normal but anyway so that should be it with excellent just get it going i'm gonna have the flyer coming out with everything you basically got 
from now to basically Thursday to let me know because Friday we'll be cranking it out and it just will be freaking nuts. So that's how that's going to roll. Um, uh, Star Wars Destiny is releasing on the 11th next week. Um, I've got a ton of orders already in. Um, that's the crazy thing, which I, I love, love, love the customers um, all around, all around California who are ordering for me and shout out to me and all that. It's cool. We're getting a lot of new players. Um, this is a great time to jump in. If you guys are into it, we're always down to teach. We play it like crazy, but um, this is the new block. So doing it like magic, the new blocks coming out. It's going to be really hot. We have a huge following at our store. Um, it, it's going to hit the 11th. Uh, one of our good guys there, Troy, was saying that you know a lot of us are buying our own boxes. We should just have a day where we open up our own box and build our own decks out of that box. It's an interesting idea. So I'm going to kick it around to a lot of the regular um, uh, Destiny players. Um, such a fun game. Such a fun balance game. And it's actually really affordable now, which is really good. They've been making good enough print runs of it. Um, but yeah, a lot of good stuff is in it. Um, hopefully we can get, you know, more than just all my out-of-towners coming by. I'm getting a lot of people. I have a really good deal on it. Um, we're doing 30% off um, MSRP all booster boxes. So um, pre-orders for that count for that. And... Um, it's just really good and you know I'm people will look at like well you know I could come in your shop and it looks kind of chill nothing's really going on behind the scenes it's very hectic and things are moving like crazy uh, so with this destiny I have one of the biggest orders I'm being told so um, if, if we don't fill it that's fine I could just throw back in other stores that I didn't get a chance because last time I think I had quite a bit and I ended up throwing out of the hundred and something I threw like 30 back because the store really needed some and I was sitting on them I could have sold more um, made some profit but I didn't want to do that because I already fulfilled all my players I fulfilled uh, the guys around the town and that all was fine but uh super excited for the set um, Django there's gonna be two starters Django's in it uh, Luke's in it. It, it, it it's just awesome I'm really excited for this guy probably my most want I love Darth Maul He'll be coming out in that set, but again, so the release day on that is January 11th, uh, PM me if you have any questions about that. I do have some ads slipping around there about it, but I do have a league page. So on the league page where we all play, a lot of people um, communicate with me already there. But again, any questions about that, go ahead and PM me. Uh, Hero clicks, uh, just a lot of new spoilers are coming out. I'm gonna be posting mainly on the Sacramento um, Roseville uh, Hero Clicks page, so don't have to worry about that too much on here. Um, February 1st, we'll be having the sneak peek pre release. It comes out actually on Valentine's Day, which I don't know how many guys will lose that day if they can't come. Actually, I think we'll do it day after. We'll do it on Thursday, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that's a huge thing. Don't want to get too much into that, but that's just another thing coming up, and I'm pretty excited for it because everyone knows I'm diehard to Hero Clicks. But that's that. Uh, Dragon Ball has been going extremely well. The community base is really good. It seems like it's really just bouncing out back and forth between us and Adventures. And it's good. It's staying healthy. Um, we're, we have a little bit of time now between set three coming out. So with that being said, we're working on... Um, right now, tournament packs are getting very slim. So at that, that whole time... Um, we're figuring out ways to get some stuff to promote it. We have a few tricks up our sleeve and some stuff going on um, overseas with Japan and working with, uh, you know, people that work at Bandai and stuff like that because it's such a big uh, scene and it's just getting really big over the internet. Um, I'm really shocked how big Star Wars and Dragon Ball picked up so much steam so fast. Um, you may not even notice if you're a player of other things, but if you really look into it, look at the people look at uh, Facebook and pages. It's nuts. It's hot. It's crazy. So if you ever have questions about that, always you know bring it to us. I'm just bringing up all these little things right now, just because I'm already talking about mainly Exelon and Star Wars are huge, and they're both going down next week. I'm also throwing out these little things. Um, 
Like, we want to start doing more board game stuff. Maybe even on Tuesdays, we do mess around with Destiny on Tuesdays. We're thinking about, like, all the guys there that come those nights are so freaking cool. We have fun. We hang out all night. Um, we're thinking about just starting to bring board games here and there. So when we're done playing Destiny, dropping into that, because Wednesday is the Destiny League night. Um, big game we're trying to play right now is this Rumble Slam. It's only available in the UK, but uh, I've been talking to Troy. We're thinking about trying to promote it as almost a league. And if we do this as a league, it will be crazy because it will be like straight up wrestling, uh, pay-per-views and stuff like that. But the game's funky. It's got trolls, orcs and stuff, but it's a really, really fun game. But anyways, that's just a picture of one uh, board game, but there's a lot of other board games. Um, I'm trying to think what we're going to bring on Tuesday. I think I'm actually just going to bring Geek out on Tuesday. I'm going to check. These guys are some pretty good uh, pop culture enthusiasts. So I want to put my, my talents on the line and, uh, have a little fun with them and uh, play that with them. We'll see, though, uh, who will win next week. I think we'll do that on Tuesday. Um, and then these flyers, they're going to be popping around everywhere soon. Um, I promised everybody I was going to hold off until the beginning of January to start making copies and uh, getting these out, you know. Um, this is it's a new year and I, I get mad people are always like oh i'm so tired of people with new year's resolutions or new year new me you know screw people if if that's what works for you just do it don't don't listen to anybody you're your own worst enemy to stop yourself but they are also your enemy when they're trying to hold you back from pushing and striving and anything so anything you can use to motivate do it just motivate yourself um, I feel like every day I see people either get pushed down, but when I do see people pushing forward, it's just amazing and phenomenal. I mean, that's anything if you're dealing with things at home, family, your work, whatever. And like, I relate, I, I'm grinding constantly, constantly trying to get these things to pop off, constantly contacting everyone, constantly working on a new idea. And I think that's what everyone needs to do. So if someone gives you crap about, oh, you you know, trying to make changes because it's just a new year, whatever. It's just right now a good time. And that's, I wanted to build back up and kind of get, uh, get my community, the other community I had that kind of disappeared for a little bit um, while we were closed and get it back going. And that's what's happening right now. The numbers are coming back and this is what I wanted so right now the motivation is just on full blast and we are going to do what we want to do and that's gonna be me like I said I've mentioned it a bunch of times and I went over some stuff tonight with some of the guys just moving forward with this like what I'm doing now videos a platform um, podcast my wife is awesome I'm, I'm getting things little by little i just need a few more things to get a lot of stuff official but she finally not she finally finally got you know myself a really good uh microphone i use different ones and stuff like that but i want to do youtube videos getting different cameras uh we have i have my webcam here could be used for different things all kinds of stuff this is like this is my my ground floor for me for the store is the store in general, yes, cool. I'm part of this world. I love being part of that world. But I don't like I don't want to stop at just selling it. That's not this is like I live and breathe it. My family lives and breathes it. All my friends do. We want to be bigger and broader. You see people everywhere doing I mean there's there's like no excuse to sit there if you want to contribute to any of these worlds. There's no excuse. So if you're like dedicated, if you want to sit there and talk your ear off about Pokemon come talk to me and we're gonna figure out a way to do it but do it through best there is so I can represent the best people in our community to represent the games they like and that's the whole thing is you need to have a voice you need to build it you know I'm not trying to be like picky or whatever but uh, it's just coming from my passion I want how I feel about things I want them to feel about it in it to just jump through the videos the podcast whatever it is so that's where we're at right now we're out right now at the point where we're figuring out what we're gonna do what shows we're gonna do with what what podcast what 
games do we want to cover? Do we want to cover a couple into one thing? Uh, it's just a lot of stuff. But, I mean, this is, again, something that's at the ground level that I'm just going to keep pushing forward and forward. And I don't care if it looks like it, if we do do it and you see 15 views, 20 views, 30 views. If we you're losing, I had to go over a few things with people this weekend over with Magic. Losing is fine. Losing is all right. Losing is pushing you to get back up and you do better and you think more. When you got that day where, you know, things are off and you're down and I have a million of them, you kind of just got to sit back and be like, okay, this loss I feel is gasoline underneath my fire, underneath my butt, and you just keep moving. And that goes with everything. So anyone who wants to be part of this, anyone who wants to be part of this whole movement thing I'm doing with the videos and making us a real social impact, I think we need a content for our city and town because a lot of places end up feeling so dull to me and I feel like we are not dull. We have a lot of good players and a ton of these games and we have so much to offer and so much to bring and you see other channels, other podcasts, they do okay, you know, they do all right, but I think we could do better. I think we could bring a lot to it. And that's not just saying, oh, I'm doing it all. I could do all these better. No, I'm saying people out there, you know, people I know, people I've met, the conversations I have, the best thing about my shop is talking to people in that shop and hanging out with them. And we always laugh and joke. When you think you're going to leave the shop, you don't because you're sitting there wrapped up in another good conversation. So there's a ton of people I know out there that can sit there and bring so much more than all these other people that you go and watch to learn how to deck build, or you go and watch to see why to play this card over this card, or why this board game sucks and it doesn't. That's my point is we can do it and I want to be like in the front line with everyone, pushing it, organizing it, offering anything I have as far as like my cameras and stuff like that. So eventually, if I can find the right groups for the right places, we will have dedicated times where people will come in those days and hopefully we can have a big enough group for each one. Like let's say Pokemon, there's six. So if there's three one night, three could come the other night. Unless I have a group of maybe two or three guys that are just so committed and got that passion that they're, they're gonna be there no matter what. Like I'm the type of guy that if I'm really in it to win it, the only way I'm not coming in to do whatever I want to do is I'm sick or something with family or something like that. So and that's understandable. So for us to keep content, keep coming and staying, when something hits, you know, when something hits uh, that's even big and you can't even be there because it just hit right now, you can get on your computer and you can Skype and do a, a, an episode like that. May not be the best quality, but it's the fact you get the content out soon as it hits. So again, that's what I'm looking for. It's mainly Twitch, doing stuff, Facebook, YouTube, trying to get all those rolling out. I'm still buying more things for us, but this is what, where we're at right now. So we're at the stage where we're looking for the people, looking to see what we want to cover. Um, and also I'm figuring out how we're gonna rig up the, the system and stuff like that. And also, again, the, the plan forever has been hooking these webcams up and turning it down while we watch matches and we wanna do eventually commentary. That's gonna be the tough part because it's no fun to do commentary uh, when I already saw the match. So it's gotta be a way we figure out either how to do it live while we're watching um, or we don't see it and watch it afterwards. But there's a lot and there's so much you can do just to limit yourself to just one thing part of the stuff you enjoy I think it's silly and this is like what I my passion I love all this that we do here I'm, I'm a pop culture nut but on top of that I'm into content I'm into videos I'm into podcasting I'm into talking as you can tell this video I don't know how long it's been it's been a long video and you're probably gone by now but the ones that aren't are the ones that are passionate and want to actually do something and change something and again we may not see crazy numbers at first but use that use that in you to push and keep going everybody starts and everyone has low numbers no matter what they do no matter where they start at it's just the way it is 
So a lot of big things are coming up and I'm hoping to get us line up while these big things are coming up. Um, I think we were talking today again with the customer Troy, my buddy Troy brought up KoopaCon coming up and he's planning on doing Destiny stuff there. So there, boom, we would have Destiny coverage. We got a Dragon Ball Super event going on in San Jose, boom, we have coverage there. So all we need them to do, they could pull out their iPhones, record small little segments and stuff like that. That's great. You keep in tapped with not just our community here, we break and go into other communities around us all around the world because we'll just keep bringing in the same thing. And again, I promise you, as long as you keep up with it, as long as we all keep not giving up, those losses that we'll get it, those few views will just fill us and you'll keep going, you'll keep pushing. And that's what you gotta do. And that's what I wanna do. I don't give up. I don't, I really don't. When it comes to things like this, if it came to some other things, I probably wouldn't give up. When it comes to these kind of things, I don't. When it comes to my passions, I don't. Like, my dream right now is to be a singer. I would be probably dying at 90 something, still trying to sing with a horrible voice. But this is things that I think are very reachable, very possible. And I need everyone else to give me input. And of course, need your help because I don't want to cover all, everything because. Those are, uh, I'm passionate about the whole genre, but you're passionate about Pokemon. You're passionate about Dragon Ball. That's, I want those groups to cover it, but again, we need the right people that can talk and who can carry on, whether it be YouTube videos, um, doing deck list or doing podcasts, just discussing things. Um, and that's why Return of the Nerd I did with my good friend Johnny, not quite sure what's going on with that but I do want to revamp it that was just balls to the wall talk to anything pop culture relevant for that time um, I may talk to him about if he just wants to bring it back then we'll just have that podcast for us um, the group of guys that I call them the dice holes are the ones that play hero clicks destiny anything that you roll dice with we cover it talk about it um, hopefully you're going to revamp that there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen so i want you to jump on now before you regret you're going to regret saying i could have had a chance to have been part of that i could have been there with them I, and then we're just going to be making content after content because this is what's going to happen so thank you for listening if you listen to this whole thing let's do this it's all starting now. Like I said, uh, these flyers, I will be getting them printed, I think maybe this weekend. Um, and then they will be getting distributed. Hopefully, we'll try to hit up Citrus Heights, Sacramento, Rockland, and of course, Roseville. Because the cool thing is... I don't even really advertise. I mean, Facebook's a little bit, but I don't advertise and people come all the time and people are like, you know, I heard about you this last weekend. I met like a handful of new guys. I've never seen them before. Cool as hell. They rock. And a lot of these people turned to be some of my best friends at the shop because like attracts like good people attract good people. And they're like I never even knew because of course we're a hole in the wall I understand that but we do have an address we do have you know a Facebook you think there'd be ways for them to find us but it was all word of mouth it was all you've been talked about how this place is we like it they like my friend likes it. I wanted to check it out and the other guys like I didn't even know until my friend told me so it's like without even trying we're getting somewhere imagine if we started going out there and actually pushing it and that's what I want to do because once we go out there and spread and get to these other individuals that are passionate just as well I mean I, I really don't think there's there, there's no stopping of what we can accomplish far as being coverage being whatever you want to call it a tier or L of, uh, of uh, hobby games you know personalities a crew you know um, like I said we got big events coming up my neighbor next door, I've already talked to you. We're going to be making shirts, hats, stuff like that. So when you go and you play, you're going to be repping. 
not just like me you're repping just our passions our, our group you know so that that is a big thing i'm glad i met him and uh he's definitely already talked about hooking me up but the only there's a few things why we're, we're kind of waiting first of course this whole thing and then we got to figure out um the next event and there's also some speculation about um changing the logo but we'll see about that but anyways thank you guys for listening i'm long and winded it is 11 46 that wasn't too long hopefully it didn't 11 46 1 46 didn't drive you guys too nuts um but just basically giving everyone an update of what to look for things are gonna start getting crazy and hectic remember we're late nights we're the late night store um daytime i don't get many customers daytime if they did they really weren't there to really chill all day but my night guys I, all those night owls man they're the best everyone comes late we stay late get home late and gives us time to do our work during the day it's kind of good for everybody but yeah so um tomorrow is not tomorrow because right now is thursday so i'll see more clicksers uh thanks to all the clicks guys man Ugh. i got i got the i got the biggest following of clicks it's crazy and I, it's just i got these great guys that made it happen it's just awesome dude it's i, I love hero clicks i think maybe that's what helped that's how passionate i am that's just one thing i just got said thank you to all my hero clicks guys they always stuck by me through thick and thin and um uh, it's awesome it's really awesome i'm really happy um so i'm happy that i'll be able to see you guys tomorrow it's gonna be a fun build um it's like everyone goes to other tournaments and they're like yeah we barely got this barely got that they come to my little tiny tortoise of a shop and it I promise you it's smaller on the inside and we get a full run and they're just great people so looking forward to later today since it's uh one basically about to be two in the morning i have to say today and then we'll have friday and hopefully we'll get some magic popping off i know it's an odd time because we're all like what should we do because rivals is hitting us up soon so check the dates out i'll have it all on there uh thank you guys for watching who put yourself up through this and please reach out to me let me know what you think let me know what you want to do um ideas anything like that all of it's appreciated I appreciate it very much. Uh, appreciate you guys. I remember, we're gonna push and move, and just change things. A lot of change. 